Good to see you. Tell me you found something good. Want to read something that Hydra thinks they're so clever. Just imagine if they actually were. We might be in trouble. You do as you wish. I think I can handle that. If we had some rookies, I'd say send them out for the experience. Stay out of trouble. admit I wasn't entirely confident that the bar guest would be taken alive but if anyone could do it and now you will do something terrible to the beast not necessarily the barrier protecting dr. Banner's facility functions on a simple premise only demons can pass through it so all we need is a way to disguise the hunter as a demon I told you before I am NOT turning that dog into a cape and I told you, it is not a dog. Besides, I don't think a cape will be enough. You wouldn't dare. My hope is that we can synthesize a facsimile of the bar guest's skin to fool the barrier without harvesting the creature itself. This really is a bizarre plan, even for you. If you want to reach the Gamma Accelerator, this is our best and only hope. More importantly, Doctor, is reaching Wanda. I don't like it, but if the creature must be sacrificed for her... Having this much demonic energy concentrated on you, Hunter, is not an insignificant risk. I just hope your collar can withstand... Let me worry about that, Doctor, after you have proven out your plan. is restless. The sooner we start our research, the better. What happens to the creature after you are finished? That is up to you. See that you do not hurt it. I'll do my best. Have you come to vent about Strange's plan? I did my best not to be rude. <laughs> to his face, at least. You do not believe it will work. No, I don't. But I do know that Wanda is on the other side of that barrier, and the Doctor may be our only hope of reaching her. He cares about Wanda too. Do not forget that. Stark may be after this Gamma Accelerator, but the Doctor is clearly focused on Wanda. That's why I did not rip apart his idea from the beginning. I know we both want the same thing. It could be worse. You could be the one who has to actually wear the dog armor. <laughs> True, you are the guinea pig once again. Thank you for the talk, Hunter. I feel slightly better about our chances. Can we please just get this research going now? Because that thing is looking at me all wrong. Oh, you are gonna love this. I want an alpaca. Excuse me. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Sometimes, I even impress myself.
Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. Blueprints for us? This forge fire is something special. See you, Hunter. What's up, Sunshine? This should be useful. Take it to the next level. Yeah, I guess it is a tough decision. I never wonder if those birds out there are stuck here, trapped in the Abbey's bubble. It's creepy if you think about it. Time's wasting, Hunter. Try to handle me now. We could go a few rounds. Can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. What's up?
There is my ferocious Charlie girl. I needed that. That looks good. Mystics are opening a gate. You've got to stop them. There's no telling what might emerge. They have not changed their plans. You know the drill. Maybe you don't realize the trouble you are in, Fred. That's one mystic out. Another mystic out of the ritual, almost there.
join Lilith together. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Sons, assemble. I'm afraid you might not make it back from this one. Prepare yourself. It's only temporary. 
temporary. Probably beat up your grandfather back in the day, too. That's gonna leave a mark. Take control of this situation. You were too weak for this fight. We've done it. Each battle pushes us closer to victory. Did you read today's book? Of course, but you'll get nothing out of me until the meeting. Ah, Hunter, good to see you. Are you heading to the meeting? Yeah, I'll be there shortly. What's shaking, Bacon? Ooh, you man, scratch up another victory for the Midnight Suns. Out of blood sacrifice is what they had in mind. Seems my offering was accepted. Each battle teaches us more about it. Doesn't matter if it's cross bones, women, or something else. What you doing, Charlie? Heading to book lab. Are you? Meet you there. I'll walk you. I like this book, but I can't explain why. Maybe I'll figure it out as we discuss it. I should not be this nervous about what you all thought of the book. Even the best translations from Cree lose subtext. Everyone's in a mood to mingle. Go ahead. We can start whenever. I'm good if you are. I am ready. Carol, this was your book, so you can start. I'll throw it back to you. What did you think of the book? I had a rough time with it. You didn't like it? Didn't say that. At first I spent more time referencing the glossary than reading the book. Sounds familiar. What changed? I noticed a kind of rhythm to the words. I began to see them as lyrics to a song. All that dry talk faded and it finally came together. The lyrics made it feel much bigger than a chapter on Cree farming implements. This book was about much more than farming. Exactly. The rhythm to it helped paint a bigger picture. 
Once I caught on, I kept reading and didn't rely on the glossary. I picked everything up from context. That's when I realized none of this was about farming. I'm surprised how much stuck with me, despite some concepts being legit alien to me. Agreed. For me, the rhythm wasn't lyrics. It was more like the book was written to a cadence. That's why I had you read it on your spark. The mnemonic lexicon won't work with a hard copy. The what now? An ancient Cree technique. It helps you remember texts that would otherwise be considered... There's no Cree word for stuffy, but essentially that. But all that's packaging. Let's get into the book itself. Uh, Hunter, did you figure out what the bloom and the harvest represent? The bloom is poorly defended territory behind enemy lines. The harvest is when you strike that territory and then fade away. That's an important aspect, but it's more than just an attack strategy. It's about what comes after. At the time of the book's writing, the Kree cared most about integrating captured territory while still expanding their empire. Conquered worlds came with people. Rather than treat them as prisoners, the Kree provided them with most benefits enjoyed by Kree citizens. This period is known as the Cultivation. So the bloom was when they gained full citizenship under their conquerors? No, it's when the world requested it. As long as they could feed themselves with Cree farming techniques and defend their world with Cree defenses, the request was granted with few exceptions. So what's the harvest? As part of the service required by the Empire, many of these new citizens began the cultivation of freshly conquered worlds. So they were living examples. Show the newly conquered what they could achieve if they went along with the Empire. That's also how vampires work. Carol, I think I pieced together the Cree strategy. Do tell. It's all tied to agriculture. Every soldier knows you can't fight if you can't eat. But they applied this to their expansion. Till the field, sow the seed, pull the weed, reap the crop. It means the Cree wouldn't advance until the territory they took was secure and productive. If your enemy knows how you will act, they can prepare. Certainly, for other spacefaring empires. But most worlds had no idea the Cree existed until the invasion was underway. But the Cree expansion had momentum. They could afford to push harder because their whole weight was behind the advance. Unless a world could push just as hard, it would eventually fall under Cree control. Carol, how was that? Close enough to impress me. The strategy in Volume 32 wasn't perfect, but it worked out for the Cree far more often than it failed. What happened when it failed? That's covered in Volume 33. And that's book love. Steve, you're up next. What's your book? The Mantle of Authority, by General Chester Phillips. Is this the one you keep saying I should read? The very same. Now you have to. It's book club. Before I forget, I asked Logan to join us next time. He said yes? He can read? <laughs> I can't wait to see how this goes. I hope you enjoy the book I chose. Why do you say that? It's about people who weren't around until after your death. But I'm sure you'll figure out the context. So why choose this book? Volume 30 was way too spicy for this crowd. Go on. I'm kidding. It's relevant to what we're facing today. Hydra, the Lilin, your mom. They seem to have the upper hand all over the world. The Kree never conquered this planet. Neither will my mother. Exactly. Reputation makes you seem bigger than you are. We can hit them anywhere at any time. You can bet this adds to our own reputation. And that's how we defeat our enemy. As long as we're still standing, they're gonna fall. Okay, just between us, Carol's book was extremely weird, right? 
I learned a thing or two. What? How to grow turnips on the moon? That is harsh. I didn't think it was that bad. But interstellar agriculture as a metaphor for planetary conquest, not what I expected. You should be honest with Carol. I'm always honest with Carol. But if I tell her it was a weird book, I'll sound like I don't know much about her adopted culture. And how is that bad? You do not know, so this is the perfect opportunity to ask. Good point. All right, I'll do it. Thanks, Hunter. Good luck. You headed out? Yeah, I am done. Later then. Carol, I had some more thoughts on the book. You do? You must have really liked it. Actually, I didn't connect with it at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You didn't like it. It's more that I didn't have the context. But you do, and you clearly like the book, so... So... I wanted to see it through your eyes. If you don't mind, I like that context. I don't mind. Okay, then. Most of my time at Central is hurry up and wait. Stop by when I'm waiting. We'll talk. I will. Good? Good. You'd better read the book. We doing this again. Hey, can I ask a favor? I've added the demon child suit to my ongoing list of things to discuss with the military chaplain. I saw this suit though. It's gonna give me nightmares. Hmm. Charlie. If he 
is done. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself, but I have been accused of hogging the ball before. Stay out of trouble. Thanks, Hunter. Ready for more? This will make a difference. Just give me a target. New and improved. Not. Lucky day, huh? Let's do it. Back again. Let us see it in action. I still say we should have built a firing range first. Guess if they consulted me on the demon child suit's design. If you guessed no, you guessed correct. As I had hoped, the Bar Guest's dark energy is exactly what we needed to pierce the demonic barrier. What is our next move? I've created a suit of armor from it, tailored to fit you and only you. In theory, it will allow you to walk among the Lilin. I just hope it fits. It certainly looks impressive, doesn't it? I've decided to call it the Demon Child Suit. A very fitting name, Doctor. On many levels. <clears throat> I was hearing a lot of eyes in there, Doc. Thought this was a we scenario going on here. Yes, Tony provided some assistance, of course. Particularly with the name. Yeah, well, forgive me if I'm not used to having my combat suits try and take a bite out of me while I calibrate them. It is an impressive, if not pungent, creation. Speaking of, I suggest you make use of the suit while the components are still... fresh. That should maximize the protections against that infernal barrier. Understood, Doctor. Oh, you are gonna love this. Oh, Hunter, what is that hideous thing you're wearing? Hideous? That's harsh, even for you, Sarah. It, oh, smells. And what is that leathery material it's made of? It looks like it's made from the skin of... Rabid demon dog? Pretty much terrifies me just looking at it. But if it can get Hunter here through that demonic barrier keeping us out of Banner's lab, I can deal with my existential terror over Strange's creepy meat suit. Barrier? I thought we discussed this. Oh, we did, Sarah. We just decided to go another way. Hunter, we need to talk. And we need to talk now. So, I see you, Stark, Magic, and Nico are heading to Banner's lab, despite my objections. We are. But I said no. And I said it loud and clear. 
Well, this is what we have decided to do. Best accept it. It's not like any of you are giving me much of a choice. Sarah, I am sorry that this happened this way. You intentionally ignored my wishes. We meant you no disrespect, but we all believe this is the right course of action. I know you have heard this before, but you need to trust us. Uh, I can't stop you, can I? No, you cannot. Fine. Go back to the lab and get Tony's toy. Thank you, Sarah. While you're there, if you happen to encounter Wanda, don't make the mistake of going easy on her. I assure you, she won't hold back on you. Then I will not hold back either. Glad we're on the same page. I was afraid you were going to say that you still had hope for her. But I know you have better sense than to jeopardize yourself for someone who is beyond saving. Well, at least that armor looks as sturdy as it is macabre. It should give you the protection you need. Good luck out there. I hope Tony's accelerator is worth it. How's it going, boss? I have high expectations. Another magical mystery box. And to think, I... Sometimes, I even impress myself. Ugh, Hunter, that suit. Your sense of humor is deliciously wicked. What can I say? It comes easily.
No pain, no gain. A powerful improve. Peace. Yo, Hunter, it's almost game time. Let's prep. Okay, we don't have much time, so I want to run down what you need to do to pull off this purification spell. First and foremost, you gotta say the words to the incantation freaking precisely. Like, every single syllable needs to be on point. What if I stumble over them? Uh, something bad might happen? Define bad. Oh, I don't know. Like, accidentally summoning a huge horde of zombie penguins to descend on New York? But that's why you memorize the words to the incantation. You do remember them, right? Never fear, Nico. I got it all up here. Okay, so what are they? Huh? Come on, let me hear them. Ego sum tenebris, et veniunt in domum suamu bet dominus. Uh, and the last line? Domun domini precepta your. Hey, you remembered all your lines. Not sure you would. Maybe we have a shot at saving Wanda after all. <sighs> okay, there are a few more important details we need to go over. First off, don't say the incantation before you see Wanda. You have to wait until she's in sight for it to work, okay? Got it. When you do start to say it, she should start to become disoriented. You're gonna have to repeat it three times before she's gonna be subdued enough for you to drain the corruption from her. Absorbing that much dark energy into your body is gonna be... Uh, intense. I just want to make sure you're up to it. My only concern is bringing back Wanda in one piece. Just don't forget to take care of yourself in the process. Remember, the only person in recorded history who managed to remove corruption died doing it. I do not need reminding of that. Right, sorry. I want Wanda back more than anything. I just don't want you to fall trying to get her back. I've already lost enough people I care about. I care about you too, Nico. Yeah, I, I know you do. So, this is it, huh? Just wanted to say, I believe in you, Hunter. You got this. Thanks, Nico. Now, bring our girl home. Oh, and Hunter, if for some reason the spell doesn't work, please don't hurt her. No matter what happens, remember, Wanda is still in there. Somewhere. Is that the doggy armor Strange tailored for you? How does it look? You have to ask. Your opinion matters to me. And you want my brutally honest one? Are you ever not brutally honest? Fine. You look as ridiculous as Strange's plan. I thought you wanted us to find a way to break back into Banner's lab. I do. I just think wearing a hellhound skin to bypass a demonic barrier is something you'd only see in one of Nico's zombie movies. I thought that would be a reason you would like the plan. What? Because Nico likes to make me watch bad movies with her? Movie nights are Nico's thing. Besides, I prefer plans that aren't based on fiction. 
But if on the off chance you happen to breach the barrier and make your way in, maybe I can find a way to help you out. What do you mean? I don't give a damn about the Accelerator, but I do give a damn about Wanda. So if wearing that monstrosity gets us closer to her, I will do everything in my power to help get her back. Promise me you will do the same. I swear. Good. Now get out of here. And don't come back until you bring back my friend. Be careful out there, Hunter. I want both you and Wanda back safe. Yes? Good girl, Charlie. Just like looking in the funhouse mirror, I wouldn't be caught dead in it. <laughs> <laughs> 